Hello, my name is Robert Brooks. The class is Java 2, the term is 1503, and this is my week 4 walkthrough video for the four applications that we had to create this week for the project. Let's start with uh, case study one, which was the baseball, the Little League baseball team that needed a roster of six, uh, six teams, and each team had nine players on the roster. I chose the navigation drawer, and although I could see where a spinner would be useful as well, but I think the, because of the, the amount of choices um, being six, which was more than any of the other case studies, I feel that the navigation um, drawer definitely served this app better than a spinner would. But I'll take you through it here. This is a, uh, a list view that is being populated based on the choice of the navigation view right here so you can just go through and, and everyone is every, every list is updated based on the on the click there pretty simple um, the next one which would be case study 2 which was the weather app prototype this is definitely this one was the easiest choice and it was definitely um, the tab navigation because you had three functions the current weather the hourly weather and the weekly weather forecast that needed to be accessed uh, you know at pretty frequently so I think I thought the tab navigation was definitely the best for that I'll take you through it real quick this is be this is populated by the uh, weather underground API I set it to a static location instead of you know doing a, a location from the application for for this purpose uh, I set it to Charlotte, North Carolina, where I live. So basically you have your current conditions where it has a detailed report of the current conditions. The next tab is hourly, where it goes for a 24-hour period um, from now for the next 24 hours and, and goes through every single... It, it tells the conditions, the temperature. Um, the last one here is the weekly, which is a seven-day forecast um, starting today and, and going into Wednesday. So, that was uh, that was a pretty simple choice as far as determining which one was the best. And the third one is the news prototype. And I I chose the I chose the spinner for this just because I felt that it was a little bit easier to navigate through that and there you know with four choices it wasn't it wasn't too many choices for the spinner. Um, but here's the here's the featured story which is a, a scrollable text view here. Um, then we have the the current news, so a list view of the of of the news stories, and just have them represented by story here. Then we have the image uh, gallery, and I just populate. I used a grid view to uh, populate this with just random images I had. Then um, finally, here we have the settings view, which uh, where you can enable data over mobile network or disable the data. And it actually um, it actually does a check when the app is you know when you, when you leave this screen and notifies the user that they cannot they they need to be connected to the internet to use the application. So the last the final app that we made was the application bar app, and this was uh, and this I think will prove to be a nice little utility application for me in the future. But we have our we have our entry list with the the user entered items. I have six here. I have five here. Just I had already entered them in. So let's walk through the functions. You have add. So I'll just put add, and then when you save it, it automatically um, goes back to the list view and it populates it automatically. You have the long click delete here, right there. And then on the um, on the add screen on the overflow here we have the refresh so we'll go ahead and put some text in the field here and then we have the uh, in the overflow the refresh and it will automatically uh, reset the reset the text input so I would say the hardest part of you know the, my biggest challenge was was figuring out first was figuring out which which case study fit which navigation views the best and I, I honestly think I, I honestly feel that I, I made the best choice um, just because I like the way the spinner app works with the with the news prototype and because there's so many um, entries it, there's, there's so many points of data in the 
in the in the case one baseball application that I feel that for you know screen real estate that the navigation drawer was definitely the the way to go there. As far as challenges implementing the code, uh, you know, once I once I got the I, I started with the navigation drawer, which was probably the hardest. But once once I got that, and you know, was able to swap the swap the the placeholder fragment out with my own, I, I really got the hang of it. And the other ones came pretty pretty easy. The uh, action bar was uh, I, I thought was was fairly simple it had its challenges with the delete kind of figuring out what the best method to refresh the the screen after after it's deleted would be but other than that uh, I really enjoyed the project and I uh, enjoyed the class as well so thank you and uh, I wish everyone well thanks